Noctua has launched the second generation of their famous D15 cooler and today we will be having a look at the standard version, the one that is designed for both AMD and Intel platforms. There is a version that is made to perform better on AM5 platforms and one that is better suited for Intel CPUs. In this video I will also be covering the unboxing, installation on the AM5 platform and compare it to the Thermolite cheaper offerings and also the Liquid Free Z3 240 ARGP that was launched a few months back. Before we move forward, consider subscribing to the channel and drop a comment below to help it with the YouTube algorithm, thus helping it grow. Next, you will see the unboxing and installation process on the AM5 platform. I'm gonna use the Phantom Spirit 120SC with its stock fans and a pair of Cooler Master Mobius 120 ARGB, the Liquid Freezer 3 240 ARGB and the Phantom Spirit 120 EVO to compare it to the Noctua D15 G2. When it comes to the gaming temps, I'm going to use the 7900XTX with 15% more power so that we know for sure that the GPU will dump a lot of heat in the case. To my surprise, the D15 didn't manage to beat the Phantom Spirit 120 EVO. I was expecting it to be close between these two coolers, but an almost 0.8 degrees difference doesn't do well for a 150 euros air cooler. The Phantom Spirit 120 SE is losing to the new D15 only by 0.4 degrees in average, but this one is often below 40 euros. When pairing the Phantom Spirit 120SC with some Cooler Master fans that spin at around 2300 RPM, the D15 is beaten again. So let's investigate a bit and have a look at the Hardware Info 64 log and see what is making the SC version paired with the Cooler Master fans better than the bigger D15. From the logs, what I can see is that because the Cooler Master fans spin a lot faster, this helps a lot in warm rooms and even though the D15 fans are a lot bigger and it has 8 pipes, it doesn't manage to perform better. And this can be seen in the CPU speed as usually lower temps mean higher clock speeds. Now let's move to gaming and while standing still in Outcast 2 in a room close to 29 degrees, the D15 disappoints again as it has the highest temperatures on average. I can't understand why, maybe because the fans are a lot bigger, it's capturing a lot more heat exhausted by the GPU. 
I double checked as I wanted to see if I didn't put enough thermal paste but all seems good and after retesting I got almost the same results 0.2 degrees worse that can be attributed to margin of error. The CPU air cooler is silent but the Cooler Master fans that I have now are silent at 65% and while in gaming you don't need to go above that. Given the results, I will not recommend this cooler for the AM5 platform. Add the price into the mix and this version definitely is to avoid as there are better alternatives out there. If you are still considering this cooler, Noctua has a version that is tailored specifically for the AMD platform that should deliver better performance than the standard one here. The low base convexity version and another one that works better on Intel CPU, the high base convexity version. What I don't like about this approach is that if you buy one version and you decide to switch camps, for example from AMD to Intel, I'm not sure how well it will perform. And this is the biggest issue, paying 150 euros, which is 360 euro prices for a cooler that might not suit you that long. If you are thinking on the standard version, at least for AMD CPUs, it's not worth it. You can buy cheaper air coolers and strap better fans to it. Also, you can add RGB to the mix and it will cost you less than the Noctua version. To me, the standard version doesn't make any sense. Just go for the version that is better suited for your current platform, as this way you know you have one of the best air coolers out there. But do not expect even those versions to have a commanding lead, if any, over the competition. If you like the video, consider subscribing to the channel, hit the thumbs up button and drop a comment below. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.